Steve Evans, I think I know which way this conversation is going to go. Well, let's first and foremost talk about the performance. The performance away from home was outstanding. That's a good Bristol Rovers team. Huge resources, good manager. And we've outplayed them for long, long spells. Um, we've missed some ridiculous chances to, to be two and three, four ahead. You know, Kane Hemmings, Piajani should score from two or three headers. A couple of blocks they've had. Um, I don't remember them having a chance. And then, and then simple terms, we're one up. I think we're quite comfortable. We're, we're going forward, missing good opportunities. And then they give the referee and the sister referee give the most ridiculous goal. You know, he's, the boys come from 10 yards offside, gets back on a fixed down, but the hand balls it. And then Chris Martin does what Chris Martin's capable of. He, he chips it in from 40 yards and their goalkeeper's come up the pitch to take the free kick because he, he thinks it's offside on a foul. Um, and he's, yeah, so, but another... And then St George's Park, Championship referee, Championship man, knackers. We can't take away from the performance because it was full value of three points, wasn't it? It was not worthy of three points and they've just had it robbed from them. Yeah, listen, and that's the word. That's the word. You've used it and I'm glad you've used it. To be fair, they've got a bunch of honest lads. You know, a couple of members of the backroom team for Joey just said to me, wow, we've got a point out of that. Wow. And um, that doesn't make us feel any better. Referee didn't want to talk me to time up, but he wanted to speak to Joey. Press of that, innit? I was all talk to Joey. And, um, but now, so I'll go and see him. We'll get the normal excuses. I will have an apology email on Thursday. Um, and we'll get on with it. But it's just another full time group led by Kevin Friend and Howard Webb. But Howard, Howard has come in. And we're not seeing improvements here. Every time we get championship referees who are getting pressed for the Premier League, are appalling. Appalling. If that decision is given in a in a live game, he, he doesn't referee a game for four weeks, but it's given away at Bristol Rovers on a Tuesday night. We asked why we had a championship referee, because every time we get them, we get controversial decisions against us, because they all get together as a little group and they talk. And you can only guess what that conversation might be about, but at least they're having poor decisions. So I'm in, the, I'm, in the, I'm in the land of having to think positively and listen to, like to Mike at the EFL and heard that this isn't just more than what happens to you in a normal season. They don't like it when we're up there, do they? They don't like it. And we did not wear well in today. You had to reshuffle and uh, you started off with four at the back, which was a, a bit of an aside from how you've, you've normally played, but uh, it, it looked it looked the part. Yeah, so we, we've played with the four a few times this season. You know, played with four at Bolton, for example. We're outstanding. We're, I mean, the performance in isolation tonight is outstanding. If we're sitting here, we're... 1-0. In fact, if we're sitting here with a 4-0 away victory, it's probably what's deserved. But the reality is we're sitting here 1-1 on the end of atrocious decision. I mean, you know and I know that what I'll do when we board the team coach, we'll send the clips to Mike. Mike will ring me tomorrow, so I'll have a look at it. And it's offside, and, and he doesn't know why uh, Matthew gives it. But, as I say, Matthew wanted to talk to Joey. I, I'm a, a little bit speechless myself on what we've seen and that, but you've got to feel sorry for the players and the effort and that they've put in, but for the fans that have travelled all this way yeah. as well, because they, they're not getting value for money. Yeah, I must admit, I was surprised with the number we brought here tonight. It was a really good attendance, really good turnout, and, it, and a lot of money and a lot of, and we, we don't kill ourselves, a lot of time and off work and all the things. And they've seen a really good performance. They'll go back in the car saying, how do we, how do we not win the game? They're at the wrong end of the ground to perhaps appreciate what we're complaining about, but they're all travelled home, they're all got their iPhones out and they're looking at it and they go, here we go again. It doesn't happen. I'm frightened what happens with Derby on Saturday. I'm frightened what happens with Derby. I'm frightened who they give us. They'll give us another big boy. And this other big boy will, will be controversial. We'll be moaning again. And it's, it sounds as if we're always moaning, but oh, you know, the last couple of games, you know, we've had Bolton away, we've had tonight away, big clubs, brilliant atmosphere, commendable Bristol Rovers supporters, absolute turn up in great numbers, and they back the team. Um, they'll know, they're honest people here. They'll know when they go home tonight, when they watch when they watch it back, because they don't know, they're behind the goal, they just see the goal, but they'll know what happened. They'll know it's an offside by five or seven yards. They'll know it's a handball. Um, and, they'll, and they'll gladly take the point, because when my team gets outplayed, I take a point. Steve, if you... You keep saying it, okay. Um, are you going to keep saying it because, you know, when it, when you are hard done by? Well, they tell me not to say it. You don't shut a boy up from Canberra's line. You don't shut a boy up and tells the truth. And they don't like it. As Mike says, well, Steve, you don't need to always talk about it. Why not? People talk about Ken Hemmings missing the chance, don't they? They'll talk about Pierre Janney missing two headers that big man normally scores. 
they'll, they'll talk about all aspects of football, but they're becoming more and more um, not good enough, not good enough. And um, and as long as I see a referee, it's not good enough. I don't need to, you know, we've lost games this year and I've got to thank the referee because I thought he's been very good. And um, I didn't think that for from halfway through the first half when I watched my players getting yellows for kicking the ball away, deservedly. I watched their goalkeeper kick the ball away when we got a corner. And he actually said to me, he only kicked it three yards. Well, from, from the goal from the goal area to the where you get in the tunnel here. The first three yards, well, you know, God knows it's about 50, 60 yards. And you picked up another yellow yourself. Nah, that doesn't bother me. He'll tell his grandkids. I'll tell my grandkids that we should have won the game tonight and I'll show them the decision. And my wee grandson Joseph at two and a half is going to go, oh, that can't be good. Get Poppy, can it? That can't be good, Poppy. That's that's nonsense. That's what he'll say. And I'll say, well, he's, he's been quite fair there, son. He's been quite fair. Thanks, Steve. <laughs>